We want to welcome you to another edition of the Question and Answer program with our Bible teacher, Dr. J. Vernon McGee, who for over 30 years answered the many questions of his listeners. Now let's get to those questions. Our first one comes to us from a listener in Whittier, California, who writes, In Exodus chapter 39, verses 22 through 26, it speaks about the robe of the ephod, which had woven on the hem pomegranates, and then sewed on a bell in between the pomegranates. The high priest wore this robe into the Holy of Holies behind the veil, as the Lord had directed. I believe the pomegranate was a symbol for the original sin in the Garden of Eden. Here are my reasons for this. First, P-O-M, palm, is from the root word for apple. Second, there were no pomegranate trees in the wilderness. Third, God did not need to remind Israel of fruitfulness because he supplied them abundantly. Fourth, they needed a reminder of their sinfulness. Fifth, the priest went behind the veil symbolizing forgiveness. Do you think my line of thinking could be or couldn't be correct? You ask me to say could be or couldn't be. I think that it couldn't be. I think that your interpretation is rather far-fetched. To begin with, P-O-M, palm, may be the root word for apple, and you are right about that, but you are thinking of the tree in the Garden of Eden, and that tree in the Garden of Eden was not an apple tree. That is something the world has adopted and talks about the apple that man ate. It doesn't give the name of the tree at all. And that is very far-fetched to take that position. And I believe that the pomegranate represents fruitfulness and the bell represents witness. And when the high priest went in, he was going to a mercy seat. You see, the sacrifice had already been made and he went in there for the whole nation of Israel, you see and it was for the mercy of God they wanted. As long as they could hear those bells ringing in there, they knew he was alive. And the only way the world's going to know we're a child of God is by our witness, our lives, our testimony by word of mouth, or in some other fashion. I think that every Christian should be involved in witnessing. That is getting the word out. And I don't believe that every Christian's called upon to hand out tracts, and I do not think everyone's called to ring doorbells, but I think every believer's called upon to get involved in getting the Word of God out. There should be on our garments the bells, and the pomegranates are fruitfulness, and the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering. Now, I believe that's as far as you can take that, and I think that you have gone out on a tangent, and you've asked for it, and I'm always very candid and frank. I would say it couldn't be, and I think we need to stick by it. I have a more thorough treatment than I gave over our Through the Bible program, much more thorough treatment of that in a message that I gave many years ago. The, one of the first was bells and pomegranates. It used to be a favorite message of mine. I have not preached that sermon in many years, but it is on cassette tape. If you'd like to have that, why, you can order it from our tape department. Be glad to send it to you. 